Hey Pisces, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Um, anyways, uh, for those of you guys that are new, uh, welcome. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If this doesn't resonate, check out one of your other signs. Um, for cross watchers, this can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, honestly, on who's watching. Let's hop in, Pisces. I hope everyone is doing well. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. That just kind of came up. All right. What's the overall energy for Pisces with love and romance? Overall energy for Pisces with love and romance. Yo, Ten of Cups. Yes. There you are, Pisces. That's Mars and Pisces. I'm here for it. All right. What is a Pisces person of interest? What is their energy? What's Pisces person of interest? What's their overall energy? Their overall energy? Empress. Okay. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra. Um cancer or taurus okay and how does pisces feel romantically about their person of interest nine of pentacles some of you also may be dealing with a virgo or a virgo venus jesus all these cards are trying to come out mm, there is some type of ending though pisces i feel like it's an ending to not opening up it's an ending also to just over overly thinking um what's the situation between Pisces and their person of interest romantically? What's the situation between these two? Ooh, okay. Tower reverse. Um, Scorpio, Capricorn, um, or Aries. Hold on, can I ask a question? So in my head, I'm asking the question and soulmate comes out. When I was shuffling your cards originally in the beginning, it was, uh, this is the one. So I guess I'm just gonna leave that here because obviously the energy is pretty consistent. I definitely feel like for this month, there is some type of reconciliation here, especially with that at the bottom um, and true love at the top. Some of you guys are definitely going back to something that um, makes you happy, I feel like. Now, let's just let's just go into it. Pisces, for some of you guys and, and, and your partners, if you were going through a time where um, I feel like there was really like a depressing time. And I'm saying that because you have the Ten of Swords at the bottom with the Five of Swords at the top. I feel like there's definitely a lot. There was prior definitely a lack of sex. I think that whatever the situation was with, with you and your person up until this point, it was probably a little bit toxic, a toxic uh, relationship, very unique, unconventional, um, very unconventional. And I feel like you and this person needed a lot of space. And for you or your partner, somebody did try to detach emotionally. However, something's coming back around because there is clarity here. Now, I do want to say this. Sometimes clarity comes in situations where they're fucked up, i.e. the coronavirus, right? It's like we're all stuck at home. No one can really go see each other. So all you can do is communicate. There's a level of communication here, I feel like. And that's what's creating this change. It's creating a huge change for both you and your partner. I feel like it's very quick. Um... I also feel like it's very, there's a level of transformation here, especially with the tower being reversed. That's what I like to see. Now for the situation, um, we have the Ten of Cups, right? That's Mars and Pisces. This is a very happy, uh, euphoric energy. Okay. Um, and I also feel like the Page of Swords is reversed. I feel like um, for some reason with this Page of Swords being reversed, I think it's a lack of pettiness. Am I right? Yeah, look, Ace of Cups. Let me just confirm really. Yeah, I'm right. Look, Six of Cups at the bottom, Nine of Cups at the top. Because, you know, you can read the, read the Page of Swords however the fuck you want. But for me personally, um, based on the energy here, I feel like um, if there was a block prior that's no longer here, I do feel like there is some type of new offer with love coming in. And... Um, Possibly from a Leo 
Aries or um, Sagittarius. Also big Scorpio vibes though too. I feel like the energy for the month is somebody definitely knows what they want. Okay, King of Wands, Leo, they know what they want. And when a Leo focuses on something, whether your partner's a Leo or not, okay, when they focus on something or when something is being, well, you know, how do I explain this? All right, every Leo I've ever met, this is the one thing I know about them. If they have in their mind that they want something, they go at it until they obtain that goal. I feel like the energy for this month is knowing exactly what you want and ultimately going after it. And I feel like it has to do with um, love and romance. And it also has to do with coming back or circling back around to a relationship from your past. Okay. Now, your partner is sitting here. Your partner's energy is the empress. So this person um, is highly confident right now. Whether you're dealing with a woman or not, this can also be a man's energy. Um, it's just more of a feminine energy. So instead of this person being overly expressive, and um overly expressive uh somebody that's the one that takes the lead like this person is now sitting back and i feel like they're they're watching and they're waiting to see what you do here this is also somebody that's highly attractive yeah this person is real attractive more information on this person's energy for pisces okay seven of wands reversed that's mars and leo you know, I think that this person is uh, finally um, allowing you in or, you know, I don't know. I just feel like this person is, is no longer on the defensive. I feel like they're allowing you into their heart. I also feel like with the seven of wands here, there's a lot of passion and desire, right? There, there's something very uh, running very high here. It's also too um, a very strong sexual energy, but the one thing that's coming in about your partner's energy is that they're demanding a level of loyalty. Like the Empress doesn't fuck with people if they're not loyal, right? Leo, there is a level of loyalty that is required here. And I feel like for this person, it's like they're letting their guard down, but in their heart and in their head, they're like, don't fuck me over. Don't make me regret this. Please don't hurt me. Please don't embarrass me. Because right now this person is acting from a, from a place of um, their heart and not necessarily their ego. Can you give me more information on Pisces person of interest romantically? Three of wands with the hermit. I feel like this person definitely can be a Virgo uh, or maybe you're a Pisces Aries cusp or they are just an Aries, but there's definitely um, something here about waiting. And that can be because of the virus, like no one can physically see one another, but there's definitely a wait here where all there can be is a level of communication and thinking. What's, what are they waiting on? Mm -hmm. For a new start. One more card here for Pisces person of interest romantically for their energy. With the full. There you are, Pisces. Pisces or Aquarius. It's weird because I feel like this is going to be the fastest reading. But honestly, all the cards are what they are. It's like very, very clear to me. I feel like your partner, especially if they're at a distance, even if they're down the street and they can't physically see you, it's like they're waiting to see you. And I also feel like this person is very open and it's like they're going with the flow. They don't know where this is going with you, that they have no idea, but it's like, okay, I'm just going to go and see what happens. Because prior to this, I, I feel like this person was always one, like worried about, but where is this going, right? The fool with the page of wands has no idea where it's going, but they're just going to go and see where it lands them. Now, how you feel about this person is the Nine of Pentacles. So obviously, you have a lot of respect for this person. And this person does have a level of, of abundance in your eye. Um, this is Virgo and Venus. So this person is 
I feel like how you feel about them is that they want to make a relationship work, right? Venus and Virgo is wanting to make a relationship work. Um, you feel like this person is not necessarily into material possessions, maybe possibly because you feel like they're very well off. Like this person um, is financially well off. So for them, it's like material possessions don't mean anything, but it's like, you know, more so about them as a person. I also feel like with this person, they are very sensitive, even if a lot of people don't know it. This person definitely can be somebody who is reserved and likes to be alone. It's very Virgo, Gemini energy. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo or Gemini. But I also feel like for you, it's like you're waiting for them to make that offer so that this Knight of Pentacles has that one last pentacle for this nine to go to the ten. There's the Emperor with the Ten of Pentacles. So it's interesting to me, right? This is somebody who's very solid. Look, now we have the Emperor and the Empress. I feel like you and your partner, honestly, how you feel about them is that they, you know, you mirror each other, right? You, this is a situation where I feel like Pisces, you're the one that actually has to make the decision on um, what you want with this person. Because I think that you know that one offer or if they make you an offer, like that's it. That's settling down. It's like, at this point, Everything is very laid out with details. I feel like somebody's been thinking about exactly how this works. What does it look like? What does a situation or a relationship look like? Um, it's also being very logical um, about the situation and doing the right thing. Sometimes I feel like this person can, um, if they're a Gemini or a Sag, have um, an issue with communicating exactly how they feel. But... This person knows exactly what they want. And I feel like they do want a um, reunion with you or they do want, you know, you want something very serious with them. One more card here on how Pisces feels romantically about their person of interest. You're just waiting. It's like a waiting period here for you and this person. Four of Wands. Ew. That's a Venus in Aries. Let me tell you, Venus in Aries, that's fiery. That's that's hot. That's immediate. That That's a level of uh, attachment, okay? Um, that's an overexpression of emotions, overwhelming sense of, um, I don't know. It's like an overwhelming pour of, of, of love. And it's interesting because you have the Knight of Wands with the lovers. So Gemini, Sag. I definitely feel like for you, you feel like there is an ending to um, a level of secrecy when it comes to this person. And I do feel like for you, there is some type of new offer coming here. Like you feel it, whether it's you're offering it or this person, you both are in positions where um, you're not overly emotional. You're not overly um, in your head about it. It's like you both are in positions where you can sit back and watch what the other person does because there is there is a level of balance here. Emperor and Empress. You know, feminine and masculine. It's 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 very interesting, but I do feel like you and your person are definitely mirroring one another. Now. For the situation, we have the tower reversed. Okay, so what's the energy of this tower reversed? Four of cups. Why is the tower reversed? The six of wands with the two of cups. Okay, hold on. So just so you guys can see, six of wands, two of cups, Cancer, Venus, Leo, Jupiter, what originally caused this tower moment for Pisces and their person of interest? What originally caused this tower moment between Pisces and their person of interest romantically? Two of Wands, waiting, distance, an option. 
somebody was in their head with whether or not they were going to be offered a relationship. But I, okay, this makes sense. I feel like there was a tower moment prior where somebody was dealing with somebody else or somebody was an option, right? Two of Wands to me, that's definitely an option card. Um, and I feel like somebody didn't want that, right? S somebody was upset at the offer that was being made because there was more than one offer coming in. I also feel like too, though, um, with that being said, especially with the tower here, somebody may have broke up because somebody wasn't willing to give them some type of commitment, but for whatever reason, that's not changed. And I feel like somebody is very confident walking in and, um, you know, really making things right here with that two of cups. And I feel like it is, it is a win. Like somebody is taking this as a win. Like somebody is feeling very, very good about the situation. It's no longer in that weird place with the tower where somebody was definitely stuck in their head. Um, and I feel like somebody was being very stubborn here, okay? But now it's like in a place where um, both parties, I feel like, are acknowledging in this situation that commit, like, like that there is a commitment that's very sensitive here and that um, it's important to pay attention to the other person's feelings. Yeah. Very romantic, very tender. There is a level of possession here, though. I am going to say that. How, would, how does Pisces feel about their current situation? Things are coming to a conclusion. Um, how does Pisces feel about their current situation between them and their person of interest romantically? The sun. See, that's why I feel like there was a period of time where somebody definitely was five of swords, temperance. Someone was definitely on some type of fuck shit. And Pisces, you may have been blocked, okay, two of swords. Pisces, you may have been the one with the moon going back and forth and trying to decide, you know, what was right. You know, what do you do? And I think that what happened was, in the meantime of you going back and forth, this person was like, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. Or you were like, I'm not doing this with you. Because here's what's weird. The moon with the two of two of swords, this is somebody knowing that they do better in relationships, but always trying to make sure that they have the upper hand. It's like trying to be one step ahead, I feel like, in the background. And also, too, it's like... I feel like somebody, whether it was you or your partner was really, really doing their best to try to not acknowledge the fact that they are happier, you or your partner is happier with, with this person. Or you guys are happier together. And I really think that it's just acknowledging that, hey, like, you, and I feel like it's on both of your end because temperance is here. There's something that happened in the past that both of you guys did to one another. And... That's what created this moon with the two of swords and the tower moment. I feel like it was going back and forth on, you know, there's a lot of arguing and a lot of tit for tat here. You did this, so I did this. You blocked me, so I did this, right? It's a lot of that. It, it, and I do feel like for whatever reason, you're now coming out of that and it's no longer the moon, right? The opposite of the moon is the sun. There's a level of brightness. And I think it feels very good to have a level of clarity on ultimately what completes you and your partner. It's also too, I feel like for your situation, you know, 10 of wands with the four of pentacles, it can be walking away from a Capricorn or um, a Sagittarius, or it can just be saying, you know what, th this is a lot to handle. And for some of you guys, um, you're willing to take, take that on. Because there is something very beautiful here. But for some of you, it's still holding on to something. Some type of issue you're not willing to, to let go of. However, and like I just said, one more card for the current situation. It's the star. After the tower, after a tower moment hits, like for instance, 
uh, the coronavirus can be considered a tower moment, right? Now, the light at the end of the tunnel is the fact that we're getting aid or there's something coming in here. The, t the star always comes after the tower. So this is like a light in the dark, right? Th th this is a level of hope even after there's a level of brokenness. And I feel like this is a new start. I feel like with this current situation, Pisces, between you and them, there is um, a level of new start here. There, there is a level of hope. And I do feel like there's definitely something going on here that's very unique and not necessarily expected, I feel like. But somebody is receiving the nourishment that they need. Like, I feel like the, the cups, that's Aquarius. I feel like the cups are being poured into somebody emotionally. And maybe it is for a new start. Okay. So, your outcome is soulmate. Now, yes, this is your soulmate. All right. With that being said, I love you, Pisces. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.